Hey everybody, Ben here with Diesel Power Products, and today we are talking about pressure relief valve block offs, also known as race plugs. On common rail injection trucks, your injection pump is creating a ton of fuel pressure and sending that up to the rail. And then electronically, the injectors are actuated to squirt that fuel into the cylinder. Well, if it doesn't use all the fuel that's in that rail, it needs to bleed off somewhere. That usually means you have some sort of a relief valve or a pressure relief valve. Now from the factory, they can be set anywhere from uh, 25,000, 28,000, uh, some maybe even to the 30,000 range now. However, they do fail over time. And if you're doing a lot of performance modifications to your truck, you may be creating more rail pressure than that pressure relief valve can even handle. So what is the best alternative to that is typically doing a rail plug or a race plug or a pressure relief valve block off. All of those mean the same thing. And it's actually a lot more simpler than it sounds. A race plug is quite literally a device or like one of these items that fits in where the stock pressure relief valve went and it just doesn't have a hole in it. It doesn't relieve any pressure. Any pressure that your injection pump makes that feeds the rail, that pressure stays there. So if you've got a truck that maybe has a lot of miles on it, or you've put some uh, more power modifications on there, or you have a mixture of the two, you have an old truck that you just put a new tuner on, and all of a sudden you're getting low rail pressure codes, there's a good chance it might actually be the pressure relief valve. Now I'm not a fan of just throwing parts at a truck, however, it is one of those low cost things that if you're you know, looking to see if that's the issue and you don't have a whole lot of tools to work with, you can throw that on the truck because chances are it needed to be replaced anyways. So let's take a look at these and I'll try to explain a little bit better about how one has a hole and one doesn't. So I've essentially got two styles of rail plugs in front of me. There are other manufacturers that make race plugs, rail plugs, whatever you want to call them. But these two stock ones here, they are manufactured by Bosch. Now let's start with this one right here. This is a stock Bosch pressure relief valve. And as you can see, there's some action going on in the middle here and the part that screws actually into the rail is a hole right there. That means there's a spring and a check ball in here and when it overcomes a certain amount of pressure, it'll start bleeding that fuel off and return it back. Now, this race plug or pressure relief block off from PPE, um, again, we have these from a couple of different manufacturers, just using this one right now. As you can see, down the middle, I don't quite see as much going on there, but if I turn it around, you can see there's no hole. There's nowhere for the pressure to bleed off. There's no check ball, there's no anything in there. So any pressure that the rail was making, again, is going to stay there. We got another example right here, kind of illustrates it a little bit better. Uh, this is another rail that you would find uh, maybe on like on a 6-7 Cummins. Um, you've got, you got a hole right here on the side, and there's a spring and check ball, and it relieves the pressure from the bottom. Okay? Race plug. Notice there's no holes on this little shoulder right here, and there's no hole on the bottom. So by replacing this, you will never lose pressure on your rail unless for some reason you're not making enough pressure. Or if you have an injector hung up in which you're already dealing with bigger issues there. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We have sales technicians on the phone at 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific time, Monday through Friday. We are here to give you the best tech support in the industry. If you don't have time for a phone call, no worries. Hit us up with an email. Uh, reach out on social media. Use the chat feature on the website. Whatever works best for you. We're here to give you the best tech support in the industry. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.